Good day everyone. I am Tehriam Sabir Khan and this is the platform of Aspire Group of Colleges. Today we are going to have a discussion about uh, the test of our fifth session T4 English part 1 and I am going to pronounce the correct options that you can check from your paper which is running on the screen. The first statement goes continue to work with the faith that unearned suffering is redemptive. Redemptive is an underlined word and we are supposed to find out the correct option. I have written the correct option on the board. B option would be the correct one, redeeming, savior. The second statement goes, I hunted all over town to find it. The underlined word is hunted and the correct option would be searched. B1 is the correct option. Malvi Abul had slightly bulging eyes. A statement from your chapter 13, God be praised. Bulging hereby means projected eyes. Projected eyes, B option is again correct. The fourth statement goes, empty of concord is the soul of Europe. Concord is the underlined word that you are supposed to find out the exact synonym. Here we have four options, money, dignity, harmony and glory. So harmony is the correct option, which we can also say mutual interaction or unity. None to share their mons. Fifth statement, none to share their mons. Mons hereby means not gains, not problems, not losses, but the exact answer is whales. Your C option would be correct. Sixth statement is to pour a cascade of love. Here we have four options, jewelry, beauty, wealth and waterfall. So we can guess it very easily that waterfall is the correct option. I have mentioned hereby, it's not cascade, it's actually waterfall. Seventh statement is, it's a textual MCQ. The glory of whom shall be revealed? Out of four statements, you know that you have to find out the correct relevant word. Governor, president, mayor or lord. And we know the exact word is lord. The glory of lord shall be revealed. Eighth statement, what type of people are the magi? So the correct answer is wise. It has repeatedly been mentioned in the lesson as well that the Magi are the wise people. So uh, D option is correct one. Ninth and tenth option that is from your correction of verb. Here we have the statement 2 and 2 dash 4. Options are made, makes, was made or has made. The correct option is A. 2 and 2 make 4. It's a, a proverb actually. The 10th statement, once again, it's a correction of verb. Would that I dash rich? And very simple statement that uh, you can guess the answer quite easily. Would that I were rich? So uh, we are here by end up with our objective section. The next portion is the subjective part. And uh, the second question is all about short questions. I am going to uh, mention only the thematic lines of the answers. Rest of the statements of the answers, you can uh, attempt it quite creatively on your own. Or you can tell it from your element notes as well. The first question is, what are the qualities of veterans of creative suffering? The question statement is from your 11th chapter, I have a dream. And you know very well while reading out the whole translation, we have guessed that the qualities of the veterans of creative suffering are that they people have a faith that one day they would be redeemed. You can have a guess from your MCQs as well. So the qualities of the veterans sufferings, veterans of creating suffering are those that they are living with the faith that their suffering would be proving redeeming or savior one day. You are supposed to write your answer within three to five sentences. This is the thematic line that I have narrated right now. Second question is describe Malvi Abul's appearance. A question from your chapter 13, God be praised. Malvi Abul's appearance is uh, very clear and quite simple. You can mention that uh, he used to wear uh, a turban on his head. He used to wear silver rings. 
and uh, also he used fragrant oil for his hair. He was holding a sort of scapter, a stick sort of scapter in his hand. This is all about the ultimate appearance of Malvi Abul. Third question is, what has made the efforts of Muslims fruitless? Two important points are necessary hereby in this answer that the efforts of Muslims have proved fruitless because of the blind following of Western civilization and yes also the lack of faith. Why did Mansoor mount the gallows? Quite simple, Mansoor mounted gallows because he confessed, he asserted that he is God drunk. He was so much involved in the entity of God that he couldn't differentiate between himself and God. And the scholars of that time actually uh, given a statement about him that he has uh, actually profaned. This is the reason that he was mounted gallows. Describe the scene of devastation as described by the poet in a tale of two cities. Your last question, the scene of devastation is quite clear in the whole poem that it was unspeakably a miserable, a tragic scene that the glory of two cities was completely ruined. I have mentioned here by three basic elements of your short questions that you have already been uh, told repeatedly in the class as well. While considering your answer statement, you have to focus the three basic elements that uh, your form of verb should be correct according to question statement. You are supposed to use the same verb form as the question has been asked. The second important basic element that you need to remember is your spellings. You can check it by telling with your notes that whether you have written the correct spellings or not. The third important, uh, the most important element of your short question is your sentence structure. If you are done with writing down your answers, you are supposed to check your sentence structure whether it is comprehensible or not. Your question number three, write a letter to your friend congratulating him on his success in exam. Or you can write a story bearing the moral union is strength. You can attempt any one of these. Your question number four. I have a chunk of question number four on the board that is mainly important that you're supposed to uh, tell you with the board as well. Question number four is explain the following stanza with reference to the context and the B section of the same question is use the following pairs of words into your sentences. So, uh, if we talk about our RTC question, reference to context, I have given the whole structure. I have given the format of this question on the board and mainly I have written the reference. This is how you are supposed to attempt your reference section. The lines have been taken from the poem Ruba Iyad by Alama Muhammad Iqbal. You can attempt it this way and check it as well. In context, you know that uh, you can quite easily write down the theme. And then there is the explanation part. It's entirely up to your creative attempt. If we talk about the B section, use the following pairs of words into your own sentences. I am going to pronounce the meaning of these words. You can make sentences out of your own choice. Popular is something which is famous, mashur, and populous is gunjanabad, zyada badi wale ilake. Pray, dua, and P R E Y pray is. Shikar, root, the third one, root, jar, R O U T E root is Rasta, way, passage. The fourth one, story and story. Story, the first story is uh, actually a story in a house. Manzil, just ko aap kehte ho, means suppose you have the first story of your house, second story, third whole story, and so on. And the next story, S T O R Y, is Kahani. The fifth one, sensible and sensitive. Sensible is someone who is cautious, who is wise, and sensitive is innocent and delicate. Hasas ko kehte hain. The last question, question number five, translate the following paragraph into Urdu. The question against 10 marks, I am gonna pronounce the meanings, Urdu meanings of the difficult words which have been given hereby. So you can note them down and can easily translate your lines. I am not unmindful that some of you have come here out of great trials and tribulations. So unmindful means Bekhabarona, Nawakifona, 
ग्रेट ट्रायल्स एंड ट्रिबुलेशन मीन बहुत ही ज्यादा मुश्किल और मुसाइब में से सम ऑफ यू हैव कम फ्रेश फ्रॉम नैरो जेल सेल्स नैरो जेल सेल्स मीन तंगो तारीख कोठरियाँ जेल की सम ऑफ यू हैव कम फ्रॉम द एरियाज वेयर यूर क्वेस्ट फॉर फ्रीडम क्वेस्ट फॉर फ्रीडम मीन्स आज़ादी की जस्तजू आज़ादी की ख्वाहिश लेफ्ट यू बेटर बाय द स्टॉम्स ऑफ परसिक्यूशन परसिक्यूशन टीजिंग को कहते हो तंग करना यानी आज़ादी के जस्तजू के बिना पर आप पे बहुत ज़्यादा जुल्मों से तम ढाए गए आपको बहुत ज़्यादा तंग किया गया एंड स्टैगर्ड बाय द विंड्स ऑफ पुलिस ब्रुटेलिटी ब्रुटेलिटी आप क्रुअलिटी को कहते हैं मसाइब को मजालिम को पुलिस के मुजालिम को दैट्स इट वी आर डन विद द होल पेपर डिस्कशन यू कैन अटेम्प्ट क्वाइट इजीली एंड टैली योर पेपर बाय सिटिंग एट होम गुड लक